everybody, this is Adam from Cow TV. Today I'm here with the guys from May. How are you guys doing today? Hey, it is. I'm on the brink of disaster. Staring down the consequences. To break hard would be better. everyone's names but we have plenty of stories like plenty of after show stories that we can share already and we've done a lot of hanging out so it's been good awesome now this new album singularity it's it's a great thing an awesome acclaim even greater than your past two albums combined so what do you think progressed from what made this album so different from your past two the critics the critics <laughs> <laughs> new critics some new opinions <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe. I mean, when it came to recording the record, um, there were a lot of variables that were different from other May records. Just uh, being on a major label sort of gives you uh, a, a bigger budget to draw from when you're figuring out where you're going to record and who's going to produce and who's going to mix and all of all of those things. But um, I think uh, for years we've just slowly been getting more comfortable with the way that we write music together and I think you know just playing in a band for five years on the road um, with the same individuals you just learn the ins and outs of how the energy flows from night to night when you're on stage to you know when you're coming up with melodies and you know just song arrangements and different ideas you just know what the other people in your band are thinking. Alright now with this tour you guys are doing something a little different, and it seems every night you guys are doing also an acoustic set. Yeah. That's very interesting. Why did you guys decide to do that? I guess it would date back to our last tour with Motion City Soundtrack. Um, we were uh, main support for that tour, and it was right around, or leading up to the holiday season, and we decided to partner up with Toys for Tots. And if you came early and brought a toy, then or then we, we would play acoustically for you, you know, and that, that was like your price of admission, and we were dropping toys um, in a couple different spots throughout the country on that tour, you know, just kind of letting people get into the spirit of giving, and, and uh, as far as this tour goes, um, it's not really something that you should just do for a month, you know, or for a certain holiday as far as give, and... Um, what we decided to do on this tour is partner up with Habitat for Humanity. And uh, what we're doing here is uh, we've got a minimum of $5. It's a donation basis. If you want to stick around after the show, um, we'll play acoustically for you. We're, we're basically taking requests. Um, so if there's something that you wanted to hear that we didn't play on stage, we'll try to play it for you afterwards. And what we're doing is after the tour, we're giving all the money to Habitat for Humanity, and they will sort of budget a mission for us to go on. Oh, wow. So um, instead of just giving the money away to them and say, you know, do what you can with it, we're going to ask them to do what they can with us. And uh, it's really cool because, you know, it it definitely helps us engage um, our fans, let them know, like, some of the things that are most important to our, our band and what we're trying to accomplish while we have this little bit of spotlight on us. And, um, you know, it's just, it's really important, I think, with everything going on in the world from, uh, you know, just people disagreeing over why we should or shouldn't be in Iraq to the price of gas to, you know, foreclosures. It's like people feel divided, people feel uh, concerned, and it's really good if we can bring out some hope and sort of instill a greater sense of community within, you know, all the people that are interested in what's going on with our band and hopefully spread that even further. That's awesome. You know, it's great to see bands who are really taking social consciousness to the next level and, you know, taking responsibility when they have this, you know, position where they influence so many people. That, that's, that's really admirable. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Right. Well, thank you guys very much for this interview. It's been great, and uh, I wish you guys the best of luck with uh, Habitat Free Man and the rest of your tour. Awesome. Thank you so much, man. No problem. Alright, and if May is coming through your town, be sure to check him out. And also, pick up the new album Singularity, which is in our record stores now. Thanks for watching. God's